Okay, now we finished row 9, and again you'll have the nice line all the way around, okay, with your 54 stitches, alright? So we're going to move our stitch marker up, okay, now round 10 says two single crochets in the next stitch and then in the next eight stitches one single crochet for a total of 60 stitches. Now remember where we only went through the back loop for one row. So now we're going to go back through underneath for both of them. So we have one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two. Okay, one, two. So then we'll do eight, one single crochet in the next eight stitches, and then two single crochet, eight, two, eight, two, all the way around till you have a total of 60 stitches at the end of your marker. And then we'll see you on round 11. Okay, now you can see, it looks like it's got some points on it. That's okay, because that's just where our increases are. Okay, all right. So now, take our marker again and move him up when we're on round 11. This is going to be a little easier for everybody because there's no more counting. Okay, till we get to the next rounds. So round 11 through 22, it's a single crochet in each one around for 60 stitches. Okay, remember to move your marker up as you go so that you continue to stay with your 60 stitches. And I use tally marks. I know other people may have a stitch counter. You may have a stitch counter that you can use. I'm just going to use tally marks. Okay or you can write to make it easier that you that you wrote did row 11 and then row 12 and then row 13 but make sure you keep track all right all the way around 60 stitches and then row 11 through 22 to make your basket okay and then we'll see you on round 23 okay now you have your basket after your rows are all done and it stands up by itself as you can see it's really good you can take your stitch marker and move it up because now we're on row 23 and row 23 is single crochet two together for a decrease then you're going to do one single crochet in the next eight stitches and then decrease again and I'll show you how to do that Okay, we're going to do our first decrease. Okay, we're going to put it into our stitch and pull it up and then go directly into our next stitch and pull it through. You have three on there. You're going to wrap the yarn over and pull it through all three. That's your first decrease. Okay, then you'll do eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight and then this is where we do our our next decrease remember we go through our first stitch pull it through 
Then we go immediately into our next stitch, pull it through, you have three, and pull it through all three of them. It makes your decrease. You're going to do that all the way around. You'll do eight single crochets in the next eight stitches. You're going to do that all the way around until you have a total of 54. Back all the way to your marker and I'll see you on row 24. Okay, now we're going on to row 24. Remember to move your marker. Okay, row 24 is another row, decrease row, which is single crochet two together, and then seven single crochets in the next stitches. So we'll do our first decrease, we'll do it again together. We'll do it through the first one. Pull it through, go immediately into the next stitch, pull it through three on your needle, and pull it through. That's your first decrease. And then you'd count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That, and then we'll do another decrease here. Do that stitch and immediately into the next one. Three on, pull it through. And that's your next decrease. You'll do this all the way around. Your next set will be one single crochet in the next seven then do your decrease all the way around until you have 48 stitches on here and then we'll be back to show you the last row. Okay, this is our last row for the basket. We'll go ahead and move up our marker. Okay, and row 25 says another single crochet two together which is our decrease then we will single crochet six in the next six stitches for a total of 42 you probably have the hang of this by now but we'll do it together anyway through the first one out into the next one three on pull it through that's your first decrease then you will go one two, three, four, five, six, then you will do another decrease. In this stitch bring it out, go immediately into the next stitch, and pull it through. Then you will do six single crochets in the next one. Do your decrease and six decrease all the way around for a final stitch of 42 stitches. Okay, we'll be, we'll be back and I'll fasten it off for you. Okay, now we've done our entire basket, decreases and all. So it's time to fasten it off. We'll pull our stitch marker out because we don't need it anymore. Okay, use him for the next basket. Now the way I fasten off is I just put my needle through the next stitch, pull this through and pull it immediately through the next and then kind of pull it tight. Then, oh, where's the end? There it is. Bring it through there and pull it tight. Then we don't need this end hanging here. So I'll get my tapestry needle. And put it through here. There we go. And then I'm just going to weave this just through here, just so that 
it stays. I'm not going to pull it too tight. Just like that. It's just so that it's in there. Can't really see unless you investigate. Then I'll cut that off. And our basket is done. Now we're going to start on the ears and then the handle. Then we'll embroider his little face. Alright, see you in a bit.